Okay, Emma, I am now rolling. We are here to talk to you about LSD. You are currently on the drug, LSD. Can you just tell us what's going on in your mind right now? Our insight here, you know, you get an insight and you know something, you know? But you don't want to say it out loud because you're kind of afraid that it's not going to be really true and it'll spoil the whole thing for you, you know? But when somebody makes you say it, then, and it's true, then it just makes it more beautiful of a thing. Beautiful? Tell me, what do you think when you think of beauty? Who are you? It's just me, Kevin. Who are you? I don't know what you want me to say. I just want you to admit that this drug you guys call a revelation, I want you to admit that it's just a burden, a nuisance on our society. Because you're somebody that knows about stuff like this. And you can sit down and talk to me about it. And that's beautiful. I'm glad that you're doing it. Just hope you get the right stuff out of it for people. Yeah, come on. I'm sitting down to talk to you about this. Well, not, you know, not that. Well, how many times have you taken it, you know, on a kind of... But the feelings... No, I don't want to hear about... I don't want to hear about... About, you know, it, that makes it sound very clinical, like as though... Like as though, um... Well, if you take it this many times, and you flip out, and if you take it, you know... It's not that way at all. You can take it once and never have to take it again. But it's not, it's not, you, you already know, so you can, it's nice to go back up there. No, but you never have to take it again. One time is all you need with the right person, or the right people in the right place. So let me ask you, if you're with the wrong person, do you see monsters, goblins? Oh, not me. I'm a happy person. See, I can't, it doesn't hurt me. I can't have any monsters. Did you know that medical doctors say that you'll probably go psychotic if you ingest this drug? I don't know what psychotic means, really, clinically. You know, I don't know. Nervous or introverted or what does it mean? It means out of your head, crazy. Oh, really? You know, I really think this is a funny thing, but if if all the people that took acid, you know, when the people that I know that have taken acid, we can look out at the other people that haven't, and they can they can tell us we're crazy, and we can say, well, you haven't seen anything yet, because there are things that are more beautiful.